Hello my lovely people. Welcome to the 12th of November. These are your messages for this week and this is for all signs. General message. Uh, I've had a message from my angels that I am giving too much um, to YouTube with dailies, weeklies by sign, monthlies by sign, career by sign and I've had um, a very clear message to mm, pull back um, that there is too much giving and not enough receiving. I'm out of balance. And it's interesting because this is the message that has come through. Um, what actually happened was I did the full reading for general and then all signs and none of it recorded the sound, although it recorded the pictures. Um, so it was an hour and a half of my time that didn't record that went in the bin. Um, and I didn't get cross about it. I went, okay, what's going on? tested the sound it worked absolutely fine so this was being blocked um, so I've had to meditate on it and this is what I've got so you'll get your dailies you'll get your weeklies per general for about 10 minutes for the week and then you have your monthlies as well all right my darlings I hope that makes sense so the energy for this week this is what came out the first time interestingly enough the two of orbs is the two of swords and it's all about being able to take off the blindfold to see through illusion, to see clearly, to see what is going on. Um, now, we need to be able to look at ourselves and to look at our life and our balance and where we're giving our time and energy. Um, this also came out. It's all about our growth. And sometimes, um, the, the, some of the other cards were a little bit different that came out first time. It's about balance, but this is still about that. Okay, so Two of Orbs, beautiful card. This is the Syrian Tarot. This is the um, Rider Waite Gilded and Messages from Your Angels. And the week of the 12th through to the 18th is all about opening your eyes this is the overall message for everybody we can be a little bit blinded we can get stuck in a rut of the way we've done things we've always done it that way and you know we don't question is it right for me is it right for others do i need to be doing it differently and the answer is yes we do we need to do it differently we need to bring in this balance now on the traditional two of swords you'll see her blindfolded on this one she's not but she's carrying these two orbs and she's trying to balance them up this is a card predominantly about juggling balancing and making sure we're not out of balance we're not giving where we haven't got it to give that it's we're not giving at our own detriment that um, we have to bring ourselves and our body and our life and our emotions into balance and this is what they are wanting for us this week the overall message for us is about bringing in balance open your eyes look clearly use that brilliant mind that you have to really examine um, where i am not seeing properly all right sometimes love can blind and we're not seeing clearly sometimes routine can blind we're in the routine this is what we do and that can blind we are in this year of change of transformation and so the universe is wanting to push us out of that rut of oh well i've always done it this way and as I often say, if we do what we've always done, we're going to get what we've always got. If we want to get something different, we need to do it different. We need to have a different attitude, different perspective, different priorities. And so this is the energy that's coming in. So let's look at these cards here in the middle, which is your energy then coming from this. We've got the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is good, all right? It'd be better if it was the right way around, fair enough. But that's okay. The Ace of Pentacles is a new start financially. It's all about a new beginning, fresh starts. For often, it can be about a new job beginning. It can be a new promotion, new clients, new business, uh, new creativity that is going to bring in new opportunities, not just for money, because this card isn't just about money, it is also about our foundation. You know, it's very difficult to have a foundation without money. So the pentacles is about being grounded, earthy, 
um, looking at the reality of life and you know is my home secure is my income secure is my work secure we're wanting to bring in this and it's coming all right the fact that it's here is wonderful it's coming it's not quite here yet and i might pull a clarifier on that to find out what we can do to bring it in it may just be divine timing it may be that we need to be a little bit patient because underneath sorry that noise is my dog and what are you doing oscar Go and settle yourself down, love. Good boy. <laughs> Sorry. He's doing that thing in his bed, going round and round and round in circles, making it perfect. Interesting. Is that what we are often doing? Going round in circles, not changing anything and wondering why nothing's changing? Because we're going round in circles. All right. Here's the sun. Beautiful card. The sun is our centre of self-belief, confidence, brightness, bubbliness, fun. Um, in this card, we have the children, the animals, we've got the sun, uh, sunflowers in the background, we've got vibrancy with this beautiful golden red uh, flag that he's carrying. It's all about singing your own trumpet, saying, I am amazing. I really believe in me. I am awesome. I can achieve anything. I can do anything. I have that self-belief that is driving me forward and it makes me feel empowered and special and valued and all of those things, which we all are, but we often forget. So we're wanting to bring in this sun on the back of this Ace of Pentacles and we're moving into this beautiful energy with the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So, you know, the Ace and the King here, they're working together to bring in this stability, to bring in the security that we want and need and deserve. Now, I use the word need there. I've got my angel going tut, 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 tut never need. Need comes from a place of lack, of I haven't got, I need it. It's a, it's a space of um, going without and that is not the vibration we want to be aligned with because he is certainly not. He is totally in his power, in his confidence, in his financial security. He can get anything he needs. He knows that he's only got to desire it and it will come to him. So we are aligning here with abundance and it's wanting to come in and it's wanting to come in this week okay now underneath it the two of cups yes this is a card of romance meeting somebody new a meeting of minds working together connecting together um notice they're not drinking from the same cup Okay, so we're not looking at dependency, codependency here. Yes, it's lovely to have a partnership, to work with that person, but we are responsible for filling our own cup of happiness and they are responsible for filling theirs. And as we balance this, that's when the sun comes out. That's when we feel brighter and lighter. Now, this isn't just about romance. This is a meeting of minds with, you know, your best friend, with your... Uh, sister with your family with your self that we are really coming into a beautiful space of knowing I fill my own cup where is my cup a little empty and how can I fill it and we're working in that energy and it's all about bringing the balance into our stability and security and we do that by believing in ourself so you are creator comment below I am creator I am as I step into that beautiful energy of creating my security my abundance I am moving into this space and these are your messages from your angels okay so we've got initiation and growing now we are growing and developing our sense of security by being very clear and open about what we're seeing. We're taking the blinkers off, we're taking the blindfold off, we're looking at things in a very real way, a very honest way. And that enables us to grow because then we make changes. We'll say, actually, that's out of balance. Actually, I'm giving too much there and not receiving enough. And we start to grow more and more into loving ourselves respecting ourselves, valuing ourselves. 
Now, the initiation card is saying that this is all quite new for some of you, all right? An initiation is a rite of passage into a different space. So she's coming up those stairs there. Let me bring it up for you. She's going to go up those stairs and each of those chakra colours moving up higher and higher into a higher vibration, into more light. See the sparkles around, okay? We are lifting out of what is heavy and coming up into a lighter, brighter space. Now, the fact that it's here is saying this is new. So for many of you, um, it is about thinking differently and doing it differently and then we get a different outcome. So let's balance this up, all right? We're bringing balance into the way we think, bringing balance into our life, allowing our belief in ourselves to really shine, really, really shine, okay? Then this can turn around. I'm gonna ask for a clarifier for that from the same deck. And there we go, whoa, whoa. okay, so. All right, it's the nine of, of wands, which is the card of working really hard. And you are working hard to try and get your finances in order, your security in order. You're working hard at it. So mm, my feeling is, all right, I'm just being, I'm just asking here. It's the nine and the 10 is that we're there. All right, so this is saying you're nearly there. You're working so hard to get that financial security, to get that grounding, stable, secure foundation that is long lasting, not just, oh, we're all right this week and then next week it goes to cock again. We need to bring it in that it's nice and stable long term. And this is what you're working towards. Now, this is about timing. All right, I said I wasn't sure if this was timing or if there were blocks. It's not a block, it's timing. You're working towards it. You're there. You're nearly there. This card is all about don't give up. Don't give up. Even though you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you may feel you're wasting your time, don't give up because it is coming. The ace is there. The new beginning is there. It might be round the corner. We can't see round corners. It might be a little bit further round the corner, but it's coming. And there he is. Okay with that security. So this is really trying to come in this week, but you need to really look at that balance, my darlings, okay? And then we can have that rite of passage into an easier way of a more solid, stable, long-term foundation. I hope that helps, and I'll see you next week for more messages from your angels and higher self. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.